So in this video, I'm gonna take this ordinary tank right here and turn it into this. So make sure you stay tuned to see how I did it. Hey, what's going on all my reptile lovers? My name is Josue from Josue's Exotics. And if you haven't seen any one of my videos before, I make care and set up videos about reptiles and amphibians. And I'll let you guys know about my experience I have with them. So if you would like to learn more information about reptiles and amphibians, make sure you subscribe to the channel down below. That way you can keep up with all my latest videos. All right, so first things first, we gotta make sure we clean out the aquarium and make sure we have a pretty clean environment for our new little animals to live in. So for this video, we're going to be doing a bioactive setup. It's going to be a little bit different than what I did for the leopard frogs in the previous video. I'll put a link to that video on the top right side of the screen over here if you want to check that out and come back to this video. But uh, the very first thing we got to do is we got to actually put a drainage layer down here. That way, whenever you water your plants and other things like that, it has a place for the water to drain and it actually can dry out without having your whole substrate soaking wet. What I normally use is a little bag of stuff just like this, which you can find at Lowe's. It's fairly easy to get. I'll give you guys a close-up shot of it in just a second. But yeah, pretty much, uh, we're just gonna fill a small little layer on the bottom of the aquarium. That way we can get a nice flat layer and we're gonna put a little bit of screening on top of it. That way we can separate the substrate from the rocks. I know you guys probably already know this, and it probably should be common sense, but I felt the need that I should probably say it anyway. Number one thing with this and dealing with aquariums, you do have to keep in mind that they are glass. So I would not recommend just opening up the bag and pouring the rocks directly into the aquarium. Because more likely you're probably going to bust the glass out the bottom, and then you're going to be out of a whole aquarium and lord knows how much you probably spent on it so yeah definitely keep your eye open for that all right so after you got your drainage layer of rocks down the very next thing you need to do is you need to get some kind of screen or netting or something like that that you can put in there that way you can separate the substrate actually away from the rocks and everything doesn't get mixed together and you have a giant mess of stuff what i generally like to do i uh, take the roll Get it out to a piece that I like, and pretty much I just sit it on top, and roll it out, and cut it pretty much based off of that. And that should give you pretty much a good rough enough estimate. That way you can get it good and cut right. So now that we got our rough cut of our netting down, we got to see if it fits down in here. And then you cut it down to size as necessary. Kind of want a little bit to hang over on the sides. You don't want it to hang over too much, so that way you have a pretty good bearing. You don't have to worry about anything getting down in there. But yeah, looks like it's gonna do a little bit more cutting, and it should be good to go.
All right, so after we got our netting down to separate the substrate, we go ahead and fill it on up with all our good and beautiful dirt material. That way we can get ready to go and put our planks in here. Uh, one thing I am going to do, I'm going to try to keep a low side over here. So that way I can keep the water bowl over here and I may plant a plant. I may put some more, we'll see. But we're going to keep the higher side to be over here on the right. Alright, so for water bowl, I decided to go with the Exoterra Extra Large Water Bowl. Uh, it's normally for ball, uh, ball pythons, that's what the picture has on it, on the sticker, but they're pretty good water bowls for just about any pet. If you need something with a pretty good amount of water in it. So this, it comes with a step side, so what I would do is I would probably face that going towards the right over here, so that's probably where the frog is going to be coming from. And get her good and snug down here. So I'm not gonna have a water feature on this side uh, just because I'm gonna do that later and I'm just gonna use this right now so that way I can keep the water clean and that'd be a whole lot easier. And you probably just fill a little dirt around it to kind of make it look a little bit more natural. So if you're enjoying the video so far, make sure you take a second to smash that like button down below and leave a comment if you really like it. So as far as plants go, I got four little small plants so that way they can grow up in here and it'll turn into something pretty beautiful, I hope. I'll show you what they are. And I gotta figure out where I wanna put them. Uh, I got this one, it says it is a Mammy Croton. Uh, it's a, co a codium, a, a codium, a codium is from South India. It's a pretty little plant, uh, it's going to be a tropical plant, and I think this is probably going to work out fairly good with this. The next plant I have is a Janet Craig Compacta, uh, another tropical plant. I uh, really like these a lot, I think they look really cool. The next one I have, this one. It didn't have a tag on it, but I think it's going to be really nice when it starts to grow up in there. And the last one I got is a fern. It is a maidenhair fern. And this one is probably going to look really cool in here with the frogs. So yeah, give me a second and I'll figure out where I want to place all these. You guys just stay tuned. Emphasis ...to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monoral recording. So this is the final product. I think it's looking good so far. So I think it's time to add the frogs to the tank and we'll fill it up with some water and see how these guys like it. So this is the frog's original tank that I had them in. It was nothing but a 10 gallon aquarium. Uh, normally with frogs, you kind of want to have 10 gallons per frog. So that's one of the re main reasons why I want to upgrade my frogs to a bigger enclosure. Uh, the tree frogs are fine, but these guys definitely need something bigger since they're definitely growing like weeds, as one of my favorite YouTubers would say. All right, so let me grab the frogs and we'll go ahead and put them in here and see what happens.
So if you like today's video, I uh, posted some videos over here on the right side of the screen. So that way you can see some of the other great ones I've already put out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure you do so now. And thanks for watching.